everybody, Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies, and today we're going to be using Ken Oliver's Color Burst to create some absolutely stunning, colorful backgrounds. First, we're going to be, or first I did, stamp the SD708 Something Different stamp. I stamped it on watercolor paper using my stamp positioner. Today I'm going to be using the uh, Ken Oliver Color Burst in Caribbean Brights. Um, there's six colors in this set. All the colors of the Ken Olivers are beautiful, but I just wanted something bright and cheerful on this day. So we're going to be using these, a water bottle and a aqua painter. And of course, always have a roll of paper towels next to you when you're working with color burst. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is just take the cover burst, take the little covers off, and I'm going to tap, tap, tap. You don't want to squeeze these bottles. You just want to gently tap because if you squeeze, you're gonna get way too much dye out of them. And what I'm doing is I'm staying away from this center portion here of the butterfly because I'm going to color that in separately. So I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap here and there. Tap, tap, tap. I'm just gonna, so far I've used the um, orchid color and now I'm using the fuchsia color. I'm a, kind of a, gonna make this a real girly card. And then I think I'm going to use chartreuse and end there, just a little bit of touch of chartreuse here and there, just a little bit. And I think you can see the dyes on there. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you. See all the little dye dots on there? That's what we're looking to do. So those are the three colors I'm starting with, just those three. And then I'm going to, I'm just gonna miss this. Just lightly missed it. See those colors just, well, bursting. Yeah, color burst after all. I'm gonna do it once and then I'm just gonna come in. Actually, I want a little bit more in a couple pots. Remember, this is watercolor paper, so it's going to be really fluid and move a lot. And then I'm just going to come in in a couple of spots. I'm just going to kind of push those colors a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to push them around, and I'm going to use my paper towel roll. I'm putting it on my lap, and I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be wiping down the roll because I want to be able to control... I want to be able to control that color a little bit. There's an awful lot of purple on there, so I might pull some of that purple up. I'm going to be doing a dab and dot, dab and dot, dab and dot. I can always add more color. So I want to take it off when I can. I'm cleaning in between, and I'm going to move that chartreuse a little bit because I want to get some more green in there. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to remove some of that color on there. Let me just clean my brush, remove some color, take some off, dab it. I want to try to keep the butterfly as uncolored as I can. So there we go. Just get most of it off there. And I'm just going to move some of this more of this around. Remember that I can always add more color to it, which I may end up doing. Move some more color around. Ooh, there's a lot of purple on there. I do like purple, but there's a lot. All right, so we want to get a bunch of colors on there. I think I want a little more chartreuse in some of these areas just to add a little more brightness and lightness to this. So I'm going to layer the chartreuse over the top a bit. Right there. Give that another spritz. And I'm keeping my paper towel because I definitely don't want brown. So if I start to see a brown develop, I'm going to blot and add a different color to it. So we're getting a little brown down there with that chartreuse. And I love that you get color variations with the color bursts. What I suggest doing is drying it right away. Um, we're gonna dry it and then I'm going to add color to that center part. So I have that pretty much blended on there. And what I'm going to do now is move that out of the way for a minute. I want to use my nonstick craft surface, which is this black surface I have here. So I'm just gonna fold that over so that you can see the surface and what I'm doing with the dyeing. So I'm just gonna place that back on there. And now I'm going to be taking the tangerine. I'm just gonna put a little tangerine, dab, 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 right on my work surface here. Can you see that? And add some water to it. And then I'm going to pick it up with my water brush and I'm going to paint that right on my butterfly. I'm kind of painting over some of those colors that were there already. I'm gonna make that 
I'm going to try to get that nice and colorful, nice and deep on the orange there. And then we're going to add some extra colors to it to really give it some, some zing. And if I wanted to, I could take this and clean off my brush and pick up some more of this color that's over the words. If they're not too dried on there, I'll pick that up over it to highlight them a little bit to make them less colorful. If you can see what I'm what I'm trying to say there is, I'm just gonna just go over them with water and kind of erase a little bit some of that color, so it, it highlights those words just a little bit. Again, I'm gonna go back over that butterfly. I'm gonna let some of that soak in, and then I think what I'll do is mix the color. So I'm going to be taking the tangerine that I have here. I'm gonna add a little fuchsia to that, just a little bit. Tap, 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 right in there. And mix them together because I wanna create a blending color. And this is the color I've made. You see it's a little bit darker than the, than the orange I have on there. It's quite a bit darker actually. And then I'm going to, I have quite a thick aqua painter here so I don't wanna to be too far over the edge. I'm just gonna go over the highlighted parts up here. This stamp is good, you can kind of follow, just follow where it's highlighted and then maybe along the edges a little bit. I wanna keep it in there though. I'll go back and erase that with the water. All right, so now I just have some real simple colors on there. So I, I just replaced the paper there and with the original background, I'm just gonna go ahead and dry this. That's just a quick tutorial for using Colorverse in a very simple way, coloring a main image and the background. Um, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Technique Junkie channels for further rubber stamp art tutorials. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time.